Action. I love doing that. This mission is the crewed test flight for the uh, SpaceX Crew Dragon. Uh, it has a lot of features and capabilities that uh, hopefully we never have to utilize in a real mission, uh, but Doug and I will make sure that they are all ready just in case we do. In three words, I would just say he's pretty sharp. <laughs> Perfect. Uh, Doug's worst habit, I don't know, he's got a tighter sense of hygiene than I do, I think. Do you really want it clean that well? Yes, I do. Yeah. I don't, he doesn't have one. Yeah, you can't chicken out like that because yeah. I didn't chicken out. Yeah. So. I, what I would say is he, uh, I know almost instantaneously when I've not done something correctly. I'll <laughs> just put it that way. He doesn't have a good poker face. Oh, that's me, no question. Yeah, definitely Doug is uh, more organized than I am, but I, I think there's a balance. He's organized with a set of uh, information. I think I have a, a wider set of information. It just takes a while to find it. Uh, it's kind of an interesting question. I, I would bet on it's me. It's a distance thing, right? <laughs> yeah. I would bet on me, yeah. but I think it's deceiving. Yeah, Bob's deceptively fast, but maybe over a very short distance. If, if like you're chasing a ball in a, in a baseball game, that's Doug's job, but uh, if you need to do a little bit further distance, it's probably me. His favorite pastime, I think nowadays, his favorite pastime is uh, hanging out with his son. Uh, and I think that's kind of for both of us, but uh, Bob, definitely, that's his, if he has a hobby, that's what it is. I think the, the answer for both of us is really something that our dads made us do. And so <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> those were the real jobs for us. And you know, that's probably the hardest uh, boss that you ever worked for is your, is your father. And it's not fun work usually. It's cleaning up, picking up, carrying the good stuff. He likes country and western. <laughs> no, it's, uh, his favorite music is, is kind of uh, in the alternative rock uh, kind of category. You know, we both uh, kind of grew up with the 70s and 80s music, kind of have the same probably lexicon of, uh, of music that we'll probably listen to on orbit. <laughs> I, I think I would be lying if I said that didn't happen probably once a week. You know, Bob is just one of those guys that he's as competent, as smart, dependable, especially this this particular experience where the last two years working you know the two of us working directly with SpaceX <laughs> Obscure procedure. Obscure, obscure, obscure the, anything. Yeah. Obscure things out. That, <laughs> and if we had to get some useful, useless information, Doug is always the repository for that. Just as a fun thing, he's the trivia master between the between the two of us. You want to do that one first? Um, I think that the the thing I'm most looking forward to uh, uh, is is actually ending up in the water safely at the end of the mission and and seeing how we both. Uh, go through that experience of uh, um, I'm expecting um, a little bit of uh, a little bit of vomiting maybe to happen in the yeah. end game so when we yeah. get to that opportunity to do that in the water together it's kind of a weird thing to say but that's the I'm looking for that kind of celebratory uh, event for me it's it's just actually getting to fly the mission with Bob you know we've been close friends for since we started as astronauts almost 20 years ago so being lucky enough to get to fly with your best friend is uh, kind of a, I think there's a lot of people that wish they could do that and we're lucky enough to do it. We've spent a ton of time together. We could have gone two directions with that. We could have gotten to the point where we didn't want to be around each other or, you know, we're closer. So, you know, I think just the whole experience for me is uh, what we're looking for. And then yes, the celebratory vomiting at the end of the mission will be, will be excellent. <laughs>